Elon Votes is a nonpartisan campus initiative created by the Kernodal Center for Civic Life and Council on Civic Engagement. We help Elon students engage in our democracy by supporting them in voter registration and the voting process. Today, I'm going to show you how to register to vote. You'll want to get this process started well before the election. Voter registration forms and absentee ballots take some time to get processed. They have to move through the election boards and the postal service. And if you'll be studying abroad, be sure to allow even more time for your absentee ballot to get to you wherever you are in the world. Everything you need can be found on the Elon Votes website, which is at elon.edu vote. Begin by navigating to the register to vote page. Scroll down to the how do I register to vote section and follow the turbo vote link. TurboVote will ask if you want to sign up for election information over email or text messages. Don't worry, they won't spam you. But they will send you reminders about voting. Even if you're already registered to vote, TurboVote can still be helpful. If you sign up, they'll send you reminders about elections and instructions for getting absentee ballots. If you'd like to change where you're registered to vote, you can simply fill out a new registration form in TurboVote using your current address. As a college student, you can vote using either your permanent address or your Elon address. You can only vote in one place, so you'll need to decide where you want your vote to count. Most Elon students choose to vote absentee. Side note, please don't try to vote in the same election from two different places. That's against the law. If you live on campus, you can choose your residence hall from the drop-down menu, and the street address will fill in automatically. Voter registration forms need a street address to be valid, so if you're registering with your campus address, be sure to enter a valid street address in addition to your campus box number. If you're changing your registration to North Carolina since coming to Elon, you'll need to select the I prefer paper option because the online option requires a North Carolina driver's license. TurboVote will ask a few more questions to determine your eligibility to vote. You can choose your political party at this point if you want to, but registering with the party isn't required. Next, you'll choose how you'd like to vote, by mail or in person. Once you've gone through all the steps, print off your voter registration form. If you need an envelope and a stamp, stop by the Cronodal Center for Civic Life on the second floor of the Mosley Center, where you can pick them up for free. After you've filled in your social security number and signed the registration form, you can mail it to the address provided in TurboVote. Some states require absentee ballots to be signed by a notary. There's a list of campus notaries on the Elon Votes website. Please call ahead before visiting these Elon staff members. If you aren't sure about your voter status, you can check from the Verify Your Registration page. Follow the link to the National Association of Secretaries of State website. From there, you can verify your registration status and see a preview of what your ballot will look like. Once you're signed up to vote, it's time to decide who you're voting for. Presidential candidates get a lot of media coverage, but you'll probably need to dig a little deeper for information about local races and issues. As you're researching candidates, you may want to look at something like the Vote 411 Voter Guide, which lets you compare candidate responses to questions about different issues. This message is brought to you by Elon Votes. You can visit us at the Kernodal Center for Civic Life in Mosley 232. We can help with any questions and have free stamps and envelopes for your voter registration and absentee ballots. As a reminder, everything you need for voter registration and absentee ballots can be found on the Elon Votes website, which is at elon.edu vote. Thank you, and we appreciate you taking an active role in helping shape our democracy.